It's 8 a.m. in Volo, Illinois, and Brian Grams has been up doing chores around the museum for hours. Greg has been working on an expensive restoration and put a short hold on buying cars. My dad said, don't buy anything, especially any asset cars for the museum. And uh, I got a call from uh, Universal Studios and they had the car from the Cat in the Hat. It's an amazing car, an amazing piece of artwork. I couldn't say no. Brian hopes that the chores and rarity of the movie car will lessen the blow when he comes clean to dad. While Brian's been working, Jay and Greg have been waiting. Brian, what's with the silly hat? You like it? It's, cool like it. it's, my, it's my new driving hat. It might be a little catty, but I think, okay, I think well, it fits uh, me. What's with the uh, silly hat? You remember when I was trying mm -hmm. to call you the other day and you said, hey, I'll call you right back and you never did? Yeah. Yeah, well, it cost you a lot of money. I had a lead on a car and uh, I couldn't get a hold of you, so I ended up, I bought it. What's that? Bought it. A model car you bought? This is what I bought. It's a cat in a hat car. Yep. So you bought this toy. I bought the toy, but I also bought the original car from the movie, the only one ever built. My uh, buddy over at the uh, movie car warehouse called me up. They needed to make some room. They are ready to let the car go. This is somebody that I've got a long relationship with. We buy a lot of TV and movie cars from them. I bought it for a fraction of what they uh, invested into building it, which is still a lot of money. <laughs> How much is a lot of money? $1.4 million. $1.4 million to build it. To build it, which is still <laughs> a ridiculous amount amount of money because it was only on screen for less than a minute. I remember your grades you used to get in math, so this fraction thing still worries me. Are we talking three quarters, one half? I, I think you'd be better off seeing this one on the uh, statement when it comes back from the bank. I like it because it's a little more current for the kids. They're not going to remember some of this old stuff. Your kids are going to remember it, and your kids are going to remember well, this. Well, it's, it's good for all ages. Yeah. And the hat's good. been around forever. Where do you have to go? Local? No, I got to go to Hollywood to get it. We gotta go to Hollywood. Yeah, I already put a deal together with him. We got a, a verbal contract. He's letting me fly out there and look at it because I don't know if it's contact paper and tinfoil. Run, like they, what is uh, what condition? I don't know. Is it it in? could be propane, could be electric. It might not even run. Well, the the most important thing we collect one offs. This is the only one in the world. It's got to be. This car is something for all generations that come to the museum. I gotta admit, I'm really excited to see the cat in the hat car. That thing looks. It's like a really cool piece. Interesting to just look at. Jay's excitement is about to take a turn. Jay, I have a special assignment for you. I bought a 1949 Spartan house bus. The Spartan Bus Company was in business for only three years. They made commercial buses to haul people. This is the only one they ever built that was a house bus. A house bus is a bus that was converted into what we would call an RV today. It would have a bathroom and a kitchen and you could live in it and travel in it. This is the first one ever ordered. It was ordered by some tycoon out of Texas. Spartan went out of business in 49, and they didn't quite finish the bus. But the engineer that designed this, he bought the bus and he finished it himself. He died in 1964. His wife, she wouldn't let anybody touch this vehicle. They parked it in 1964 in a building. The dirt is that thick on it. It was like in a time capsule. After after mom died, the little boy that you'll see in the pictures over here, the son, well, I bought it from him. He's in his 70s. He's not after the bucks. He wants the bus to come to the auto museum over here as a permanent display in our new camper museum. I love this piece. I think people are going to flip over it, and it's a great add-on to our camper museum. It's uh, in beautiful Detroit. So you guys gotta go pack. You gotta get a flight out to Hollywood. And you gotta get your car gassed up here Detroit. going to uh, Detroit. The boys are off to add a house bus and a cat in the hat car to the Volo Auto Museum. Brian has arrived in Los Angeles to meet with his friend Scott, a trusted Hollywood collector. He wants to inspect the Dr. Seuss car before it heads north to Illinois. Hi, Brian, glad hey. you could make it. Hey, Scott, how's it going? Great. We have a very special car here today from the hit movie starring Michael Myers, Cat in the Hat. Right away when the vehicle was offered, I thought of Brian. When uh, he told me it was the car from the Cat in the Hat play, it just blew my mind. I tried calling my dad, but he told me he'd call me right back and he never did. So I just pulled the trigger and bought it. It was a lot of money, but it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission sometimes. Here's what you came for. 
Wow, that looks incredible. It is, it, it truly is. Wow, this is real wood. It is, African mahogany. My goodness, these pipes alone, the craftsmanship, the detail, this dash is amazing, stuff you wouldn't even see, like the cat's hat on the horn yes. button. Well, you know, they had to build yeah. the molds to make one piece. Well, it appears that the vehicle's created out of aircraft aluminum. It's really fiberglass, and it's truly a work of art. You didn't oversell me on this car at all. If anything, boy, you've undersold me. Now, in the movie, it shot flames out the back. Yes. Does it really shoot flames, or is that you know, CGI, or? It does shoot flames. Really? It's propane injection. At a build cost of $1.4 million, this vehicle was only in the movie for about a minute. I know the car cost $1.4 million to build, but I bought it for a fraction of that. Does this actually run and drive? It does run and drive. Propane, gas? It's uh, electric. Electric. Oh. The driver sits back here. How does he see where he's driving? There's actually a camera, and he watches on a monitor. Oh, wow. The way the vehicle's driven is actually very interesting. The driver or pilot of the vehicle actually sits behind and underneath the actual seat of the car while the actor pretends that he drives. So, Brian, being that the car is everything that I did represent, I believe that it's going to be a slam dunk for your museum. I believe that the Volo Museum would be the best home for this car. My gut tells me that this is going to fit right into the museum, and I got a big gut. My father's all about the presentation. He'll build entire buildings to house his latest collections, and then he'll change it six months or a year later to display it even better than what he had first done. The new roof is for Greg's incoming Spartan house bus. The evolution of travel is our newest display at the Volum Museum, starting from the old chuck wagons going on up into the campers of the 50s. He's going after the best of the best and the rarest of the rare. Greg has locked in on one of the first full-featured recreational vehicles ever built, a 1949 Spartan house bus. The search for this vehicle has brought Jay all the way to rainy Detroit, Michigan. I'm in Detroit, it's cold, it's wet, it's not good. My dad did a deal on a 1949 Spartan bus. I guess I'm just here to make the transaction. I don't know anything about buses. Hi, Jay. Oh, hi. Dan. How hi. you doing? Good. Welcome to Detroit. Oh, thank Come you. Come on in. Okay, Jay, it's a 1949 Spartan house bus. It's in pretty good shape. 1964, it's been sitting here. As you can see, it's got all the, you know, bells and whistles, tinted glass. Color scheme is great, white, blue. It's a beauty, it's a real beauty. If you'll notice this plaque here, mm -hmm. it's Family Motor Coach Association. Mm -hmm. Back when this was put on, they had 856 members, now they're up to over 300, 3 million, mm -hmm. 3 million members. Yeah. My so, dad will find that interesting. And you know, the, and the aerodynamics of this thing is amazing. And look at the, the arrows on the turn signals, both front and back. Yeah. That's a pretty neat feature. Two speed uh, windshield wash wipers. A bumper off of a Buick? It looks like it could be, but it is custom made. Nothing's been added since 1949. The drapes and everything are original equipment. And it's been sitting next to the house or next to the garage yeah. since 1964. It hasn't even been around. My folks traveled all through the Midwest with it, and we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it a lot. The bus has not been changed on the inside or the outside since 1949, really. I think a museum would be a great spot for this. My mother passed. I made the decision. It's time to get rid of this. You want to take a look at the inside? Ah, uh, well, on. you can go. I guess we can sit at the table and write you that check. Although Jay isn't loving the weather or this weathered bus, he can't help but be impressed with the interior, which is truly a trip back in time. When Don opened the door, it was like going back to 1964. I wasn't born yet, but it was original. It was like a time capsule, untouched. It still had the curtains and the dishes. And we're going to show it at Volo untouched, just like that, matching the pictures from 1964. Actually, Don's in the picture as a little boy. It's not long before the 1949 Spartan house bus arrives safely on the Volo Auto Museum lot. My dad's going to be happy. This house bus is an artifact that will be great in the museum, but it just doesn't excite me as much as it does. Wow, now look at this. This is his this covered is cool. wagons he keeps talking about. Looking at this, I mean, you got copper screens, porcelain sink. I mean, look at the yeah. hardware on all the uh, cabinets in that. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Do you know how rich you had to be to own one of these? I mean, this is the 1930s. This was the Great Depression. Brian. Where's the house bus? It was parked here. Where's dad, too? He's supposed to be here for the weekly recap. Don't shoot the messenger, but grandpa took your house bus and said he was going on vacation. <laughs> what? <laughs> vacation? We got some really cool stuff. Got the cat in the hat car. I flew out to California. And let me tell you, Don was a nice guy. He had sentimental attachment to that bus. The boys have made their father proud. The cat in the hat car is right at home in the movie car museum and the 1949 Spartan house bus completes Greg's evolution of travel display for now.